All right, here's a little baby from this morning. C sec. Wednesday morning, 5:30 a.m. I got emergency calving. So he was coming backwards and upside down. Here is her C-section scar. Everything went good. Looks good, Gary. Thank you. <laughs> Claire, that's not even a bad one. <laughs> There's hardly anything on my face. That's hardly yeah. <laughs> That's like nothing. <laughs> I go to bed with that. That's from yesterday. Okay, just finished my uh, C-section. The calf was large. He ended up weighing 113 pounds. He was coming backwards and he was upside down and the heifer, it was in a heifer too. Zero room to manipulate. So we elected for C-section, everything went great. Calf was very, very vigorous. Mama was doing very good, so don't expect uh, any complications there. And now I'm off to a cow-calf consult. So my next call is at another new client, uh, so I will not be videoing this. So very uneventful farm call. The calf had responded to oral electrolytes. That stuff is like liquid magic. So there was no need to put that calf on IV fluids. He was up, good sucko reflex. He was bucking and sucking and yeah. So the producer's just gonna keep up with oral electrolytes until he starts to firm up a bit and little baby should be good. So I'm just gonna pretend like I was never here. So that bull was pulled by the pen riders for a loss of condition and excessive salivation on physical exam. What I found when I put my mouth gag in is he had a very sharp, jagged, and long uh, last molar that was digging into the top of his hard palate, causing, I think, quite a bit of pain and discomfort and throwing him off feed. So I gave the producer an option to knock him down using general anesthetic, opening his mouth up with a horse speculum, and perhaps filing that down and taking a closer look, see if we can't even pull that tooth out. So we'll see if he goes for that or not. Uh, pretty good bull, pretty young bull. So it might be worth it.